brought up stuff. One of the eldest. Hmm. Um, I'm in a predicament here. Uh, my girlfriend's kind of a whore. Okay. Um, I've been with this girl for like almost Tough a start. year and a half. <laughs> Things are getting pretty serious. You know, we've talked about moving in together and, you know, potentially closing it off, getting married or what whatnot. But in the beginning of our relationship around the five month mark, I was telling my bros, I was like, yo, I'm talking to this chick, I'm talking with her, you know, I'm kind of messing around. Three of them in the room were like, oh, we already hit. <laughs> Eskimo bros, let's go. I'm like, fuck. You know, Closes. I'm the fraternity. I know these guys. Yeah. That's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> like, three. And look, I started this call being like, and I, I don't know that I would start this my girlfriend's kind of a whore. I don't, you know, I don't, I wouldn't denigrate her and say she's a whore necessarily, but three of your friends, like, my 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 like wife can have fucked one thousand guys. I don't want her to fuck my friends. Or and if she did, it's like it, if it's like some random thing we didn't know each other. Whatever. That's whatever. Like I guess it yeah. could happen, but like three is really tough. And and not that there's anything wrong with her. It's just that it still no, no. hurts, and you admit that hurt. It's you like, that's the thing. You that just hurts for some reason. You have to like. I don't. I guess what it like. Phyllis, like psychologically. I just don't want to look three guys in the face that's who it. fucked my yeah. girlfriend. I'd prefer not to. I'd prefer not to. She didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. This but is that's, a preference on me. That's yeah, yeah. very hard yeah. for, for me to accept. Anyway, go ahead, dude. Sorry, keep going. Let's go. I'm like, fuck. You know, and I'm the fraternity. I know these guys. They aren't the nicest dudes when it comes to women. Um, And it's not three, bro. She's fucked seven of my friends. And I know them all personally. Um, he's also young. But the thing is with our relationship is she's super fucking cool. She's literally my type in every way possible. We have an amazing connection. Everything is perfect. Literally, this is an ideal, perfect relationship. But for some reason, every time I look at her, I just get this feeling of like utter old disgust. Utter old disgust. You know, Jesus. like when I'm loving on her and shit, smuggling her, and I immediately just go like, oh, you know, seven of the bros have been in there, which is not chill. Um, oh. Yeah, I mean, she's super fucking cool. She's literally like everything I want in a woman, and I would probably marry her if she hadn't fucked seven of my bros. <laughs> that's not, that's kind of crazy. So, I don't know, I'm kind of, and she keeps on making these like marriage jokes. She's like, Oh, yeah, like, we were watching The Bachelor last night, and she was like, oh, my God, like, let's get married. I was like, yeah, totally. So, I don't know, I need to know your thoughts on this, because the relationship is perfect, and I was fucking with her for a while before I even heard this news. But, you know, maybe one or two is fine. (laughs) Does she know the news, I wonder? That's a good question. I don't know. That's kind of excessive. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. What I should do? Should I leave this girl? Oh, fuck. Should I have a discussion with her about it? But even if I do talk to her about it, which I have like once, still really didn't fix anything. She still fucked seven of my friends. This isn't while we were together. <laughs> he hit the fucking limit. He just hit the three minute mark. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Stupid. I think we get the we yeah. get the idea. He probably went out for like three more minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just repeating seven. Did I you mean, think it was chill. I didn't get it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. <laughs> I mean, okay. A, there's a lot. Go- oh, there's actually not that much going on here. Yeah. But first of all, way too young. Cl- you hear it in this kid's voice. He's talking about fraternity. Like, if you think of a fraternity as something that has any bearing in your life and not like a funny thing you used right. to be a part of or a funny thing you had friends like from college, mm-hmm. like if you if it's an active force in your life, <laughs> you're too young to be thinking about marriage, right? Um, Good point up top, yeah. For and sure. and then also, he's just too young. He's clearly like just out of college. I mean, he sounds like it anyway. 
Um, he's you're too young to be thinking about marriage for sure. Now, the and and you're also so young that this really hurts. You know what I mean? And it's like, because like let's say, like in in five years from now, somebody meets this girl who has no connection to these people. It's like. She fucked a bunch of guys in college. Who cares? Right. right? Like, if I met a girl now who fucked a bunch of guys in college, who fucked, like, a group of friends in college, wouldn't matter to me at all. Yeah. It would be fucking... It'd be weird if she hadn't. It would... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. It'd be like, what are you, a loser? <laughs> you didn't get... You Did didn't you get, drink? You didn't get your pussy worked over freshman year. <laughs> loser. Um, and, and so, like, that... You <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> um, and so, like... Now, I, that's the thing. It's like, you might be too... In the weeds with this situation, you're too young. Where it's like, I remember, like, if I, if this guy's like 22, can you imagine like pretending that's okay? You'd have, to, you'd be. He's he talks about it right now, where he's like, uh, I just feel disgust. Which again, like, this isn't, you know, who cares that this this isn't crazy behavior. But for you at your age, it seems to me it's something you can't get over necessarily, um, and and. Usually, I always tell people, like, you should talk about your feelings. But, like, what is there really to get out of a discussion about this? Right. If she didn't do anything to you. You know what I mean? She didn't do anything to you. And, like, all you... You might have... What are you going to have this discussion? Like, hey, like, you didn't do anything wrong. It's just, like, I'm having a hard time dealing with the fact that you... But what is that... Right. That's not going to achieve anything, I right. don't think. I think you know? it's a classic case of it's completely up to him. Because if he can't... Yeah in his heart, get over it, which it sounds like based on all the positive things, I hope he would be able to if right. he's not 22 and closer to right. an age where marriage makes more sense. Yeah. Sounds like she's money. I say go for yeah, it. Yeah. Like if, if you feel all those yes. things, because I think one day you'll probably get over that. And if everything else was perfect, for sure. But here's, who cares? Like you said earlier, everybody... yeah. You know, has done that in their past. Well, one thing that I am worried about, though, because, again, I wish I knew how old he was because, like, I don't trust that she is perfect. I Because if you're... Mm. Like, remember when you were 22 and a girl was nice to you and fucked you constantly and was hot? Well, you're no, like, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The first time... I mean, I was literally 22 the first time that happened to me. <laughs> Never before that. But, like, it's like... Basically, my point is, like, he doesn't know who's perfect for him. That's a good point, too. He could just be enjoying. And so, I don't know, if he's so young... But I agree with you. If it is like... If all those things are true, I just don't trust his judgment in every facet. Right. I don't trust his judgment about how much this affects him. I don't trust his judgment about how perfect this girl sure, is. Sure, sure. Like, I think the actual truth here is she's pretty... She's, she's the kind of girl that he does want to date in a vacuum and that this might be too much for him. And um, I think this isn't, it's not as big a deal as he lets on and she's not as perfect as he lets on. Both things oh. are kind of closer to the middle in right. reality, right? right. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's a, again, I might be reading this wrong. He's a young, he's a young, very emotional kid who's getting his first taste of pussy from a girl who just like, borderline res just respects him and is nice and yeah. they get they have a nice conversation with and she sounds cool she sounds like she's easy to make friends with <laughs> right so it's like there's a lot of positives here but you're all, you're also right Pete in that yeah it is fully up to you this right. is one of those things where it's like no one did anything yeah. wrong but it's a preference thing of like can you get over it and sometimes you just can't get over certain things yeah. that girl to get to to have a to bring it to personal where I was like talking about that one girl who I'd hooked up with a couple mm -hmm. times and then like she left with some other guy at that party. Yeah. Later, she was like, I fucked up. I made a big mistake. And I was like, good, thank you. And I was like, cool, like, okay, let's talk about this, whatever. And we dated for like a week and then I was like, Ugh! like something, <laughs> like something completely <laughs> innocuous happened. I was like, ah! You fucking bitch! I just pretended I was okay with it, right? And I just like I just had a flashback, like in my head, we're just having a nice Sunday afternoon, and I just see her like leave in my head. I flash to her like leave with a guy, and then I flash her like sucking his dick, and then I'm like, ah, get 
the fuck out of my house. <laughs> and so like that was a moment where I shouldn't have accepted that apology. Right. I should have said, look, I'm sorry. What you did was very hurtful. I don't think we're going to be able to work this out. And like, whatever. I mean, whatever. It's that was I was again twenty three when that happened. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Who cares? But like, um, so this guy just has to be. But he doesn't even have that because he wasn't even wronged. But I'm just saying, like, you just got to be realistic about what you can and can't deal with. So if if you can, great. You're in a good relationship. Uh, if you can't, you know, you might not have the maturity to deal with this. Is another. Because yeah. his boys are probably going to be dicks about it, if they're even his friends. That's the other thing. He has, I bet you, this guy, like if they had met whatever years later, he's probably not even friends with any yeah, of these guys. Yeah, that's a great point too. Like that's why I just think a lot, this is too, Yeah. he's just, it's too, all this is too fresh is my guess. Um, and I, I don't think it's necessarily grounds to if a girl before you knew her slept with guys who you sort of that you play beer pong with sometimes right. like, yeah. you know, when you're young, you think a person you met once is going to be in your life. Every right, day. right, right, right. It's right. completely not true. So, yeah, to your point, 10 years go by half these people you'll forget totally existed. So I went how to money is she and can you ride that out and remind yourself? She did nothing wrong. Right. Only you can say. Right, right, right. Yeah. So good luck, little buddy. I'm sorry. I feel I feel for this kid because it's like he is having intense emotions. Like again, this is like when you see a baby that's upset because like, you know, he can't have a fucking ice cream for breakfast. And you're like, I know, dude, I know you want ice cream so bad right <laughs> but now. But we can't have but ice cream. But we can't do it right now. It's like, I know, man, I know you want a good relationship with a girl you love, but you're too much of a bro right now to have yeah. that. <laughs> you're too much of a stupid little kid right now. It's not about who you've been with. It's about who you end up with. Let's, there we go. Let's, uh... There we go. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs>